Today's tutorial is a quick one and I'll be showing you two methods that you can use to create amazing name ads just like these ones for absolutely free. But before we get started, kindly remember to hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it. Without wasting time, let's get right into it. In our first method, we'll be using Ideogram, so the link for that is in the description box below. You can go ahead and register your account. The registration process is really, really simple. Once you get to this page, all you need to do is craft a prompt for your name at. I'll go ahead and leave a few prompts in the description box. You can use those to get started right away. So now, once you're here, just go ahead and input the prompt that you want to use. Once that is done, all you need to do is go ahead and choose the settings that you want. For instance, in, the, in our case here, we are going to choose typography down here. In the choices that we have down here, we'll just go ahead and choose typography. You can go ahead and choose more or less depending on what you want, you know, to generate. We're also going to leave the magic prompt on auto and you can also choose the aspect ratio that you want. As for the visibility, you can only be private if you're on a pro account. So once you're ready, just go ahead and hit create. So our images are ready. As you can see, we have four images that we can go ahead and choose from or you can choose to choose all of them. That's up to you. So just go ahead and click on one of the images and you'll be able to view all the images. Now you can just go ahead and look at the images one by one and if you like any of them just go to the very top and click on these three ellipses then go ahead and click download and this is going to download your image without any watermark. So that's one way that you can use to generate your name art on Ideogram. The second one is pretty much simple. Another way that you can use is just go to the explore page. People tend to use Ideogram to generate this kind of art a lot. Now you can just go ahead and scroll the explore page and once you see a name art that you actually like you can just go ahead and click on it for instance let's click on this one and once you click on it you'll be able to see an option that says remix so what that does is basically it allows you to reproduce your own image using the same prompt as this image so you can go ahead and change the name for instance you can go ahead and change the colors if you so wish basically you can just go ahead and tweak it a little bit to make it your own so we're just going to do that and you're going to have our images now these are the images that we've been able to get after tweaking the prompt to our liking again it's not necessary for you to tweak the prompt you can just go ahead and change the name and go ahead and generate directly as it is Again, you can just look at your images and if you like any of them, go to the ellipses on top and click on them and you'll see the option to download and this is just going to download as we saw earlier. With Ideogram, you'll be able to generate 25 images every single day, but if that is not enough for you or for your needs, they have all these plans that you can check out and you can go ahead and choose the plan that best suits your needs. On to our second method, just go over to Bing and you can go ahead and log in with your Microsoft account. Once you're logged in, just go over to images, then go ahead and click on create. It will bring you over to this page. Now all you need to do is input your prompt in this prompt box. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit create. And now Bing is going to create four different images for your prompt. Our images are now ready and you can just go ahead and click on them to be able to view them. On this view page, you'll be able to share your image or you can go ahead and either save, download or you can go ahead and customize your image. Now you can go ahead and click on these arrows and you'll be able to view all the images one after the other. And if you like any of the images, all you have to do is just hit the download button and it will be saved to your computer again without any watermark. So that's it. You can use either of these two methods to craft your name at. I hope you enjoyed the video. So go ahead and have fun with it. See you in the next one. Bye.